Welcome back to another vlog, guys. It's your girl, Coco. So today, well, let me backtrack. On this channel, we talk about beauty, fashion, and lifestyle, guys. So today, I wanted to bring you guys along with me when I go to the tailor. I took some pants there. She started to do something the other day, but I'm not quite sure I want her to do that. Um, it's my favorite daughter's pants, which I love, but I was going to get her to remove the pleats but I think I'm gonna have her leave them and then tweak something else so I'll show you guys um, well you guys have seen the video with them on but I'll show you guys when I get there how um, how she does them well what I'm going to change them to when I was there the other day there was some guys that came in <laughs> and they were like so extra they wanted, he wanted his, his shirt done, but he wanted it so tight around his arms. And granted, they were, they were, um, like African attire. So I'm assuming that it had like some sort of stretch to it. And his friend kept saying, no, it needs to be really, really tight. And I was like, your friend's arms are huge. He needs like, he, he had a lot of muscles. He needed like some sort of little slit or something, but I'll show you guys some of the stuff that I, um, that she's gonna do to the pants. Maybe she'll have my jeans ready for me. My jeans from Zara and my um my blazer from Express. And yeah, because she has like how many? She has three trousers, two jeans, and the blazer. Yeah, so that's it. So when I get that, I'll show you guys what she's going to do to the pants. Alright. Alright, guys, so here's my outfit. I have on this dress from Venus. This is really old. My Balmain shades. Can you guys see? And my Zara slides in black. So the black slides were definitely much more fitted than the white ones. The white ones were like perfect. So I had to stretch these a bit. And they're fine now. That was They were weird though. But I think I told you guys before, when you buy the Zara slides, sometimes they're made in different areas, different countries. And basically, um, the fit is just like kind of off. So, yeah, but this is the outfit. You guys can see that. But I'm about to run out to the, to the, um, tailor <laughs> so she could, uh, do my pants I'm on my lunch break so she's not that far from my home and I like her she's really really good so I'll show you guys she actually cut the pants <laughs> the other day and I should have let her cut the ones that I actually had on already but no no I didn't do that <laughs> but um yeah let me just run over there really quick and see what she can do and then I'm gonna come back and just eat some lunch I have some some quinoa do y'all leave your lights on cuz I do I'll be leaving my lights on let's go all right, so I'm here and I'm about to try the pants on and then I'll show you guys what we're going to do to them. I have on a dress today, so it should be easy. And then this is the little place. I'd be right with you, man. Okay. Alright guys, give me a second. I'm trying to pants on. Hey guys, so I sped up this clip because we were just like rambling on about what to do as far as cutting the top of the pants off and taking out one of the pleats. And I think I mentioned this in another video. As a tall woman and someone with slender hips, I now realize that I prefer a single pleat depending on where the pleats are. So if it's a double pleat, it has to be more towards like, I don't know, towards the pocket area, if that makes sense. But yeah, 
So I'm gonna pick these up on Monday along with my express jacket. I already got my jeans back from Zara. So this is what I do as a tour girl, guys. Hey guys, so I totally, it was a hot mess inside of the tailor. <laughs> I put the phone down and completely forgot to pick it back up. So what we're gonna do is we're actually going to lift up the crotch. The pants are expensive, so I just want her to take the pleats, leave the pleats how they are, and just kind of make it not so long in the front, right? Um, I guess my thing is to like when I sit down, like the bulge of it. Some girls like that, but I actually don't like it. So she's gonna work on one pants and then we'll figure out the other ones. I should have just let her work on the darker ones as opposed to the lighter ones, but we shall see. But other than that, this is what I have to go through as a tall girl. It doesn't bother me. Um, I'll invest in some pants and just get her to tweak them. Same with my jeans, I have to do it. I'm tall, right? So I'll let you guys see the finished product. Hopefully it'll come out how I need it to come out. She's, I don't think she's gonna cut any fabric just in case I need to go back to the original <laughs> way of the pants. <laughs> so I'll keep you guys posted on that. I just got back. I'm gonna work on some stuff at work. We're kind of busy, so I'm gonna just put my hands in the pot and just help out with the team, with the, with the work on the team. So I will catch you guys later. Um, yeah, nothing special going on. I have to work on my client's stuff still. She's back from vacation, so I need to have a conversation with her about some things that I'm seeing for her. But I will catch you guys later. Bye. Hey, guys. Welcome back to another vlog. It is your girl, Coco. And if you guys don't know, I am a tall style coach who focuses on beauty, fashion, lifestyle, and styling on this channel for my tall ladies, guys. And I sprinkle in some healthy eating, things that I do, like detoxes and just food that I eat because I am a plant-based vegan. And I'm kind of bored with it, guys. I am. But um, today is going to be just a quick little vlog. Well, I don't want to say quick. I'm just going to bring you guys. I'm working right now, getting some stuff done and thinking about some content ideas. And let's talk about people really, how can I say this? We think of, it's kind of, the light is going in and out. So we think about content, right? And we're like, okay, hold on one second, guys. Yeah. It's not focusing on my, I don't know. <laughs> ah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, guys, sorry. So let's talk about content and why some people, some of us, overthink it, right? And you guys all heard that was well, two things. The one guy, he says, too many people who are trying to create content be the content, right? And then the other one, the lady is saying, everything is content, everything is content. Don't forget to film it, don't forget to film it. Everything is content. Okay, so even though it sounds very easy, for a lot of us, we still struggle with creating content, right? Just kind of like being ourselves 100%. And I remember watching this lady's live on Instagram and I forgot what type of business she had. And she was just saying how in the beginning she was a very professional on her social media. And I started laughing because I'm the same way. And she equated that to having a corporate job, which is kind of true. If you are a certain way, if you've been in corporate America for a very long time, it's just certain behavior that you give off and certain things that you just do because that's the setting that you're in majority of the time. You spend more time at work than anywhere else, right? Especially if you work a nine to five. So I started to go through her stuff and I was like, oh, she lightened up one day, like her personality came out. And I was thinking, how does one get their personality to come out, right? It's not the easiest thing to do, especially speaking in front of a camera with no one here, right? And we're talking to this camera and to you guys, you know, <laughs> it's just it's just not that easy. And I don't know if it's an age thing. No, I can't even say that because I know people who are older than me and they're just taking off on social media. Um, it could be a fear of just like being judged. I don't even know. Or even maybe someone from your jobs <laughs> seeing you, right? So you guys get in the comments and let me know what do you think are some ways a person can kind of step out of their comfort zone when it comes to like creating content, right? 
whether it's here on this um, platform or the others, you know. And for me, TikTok is a little bit easier because it's just like kind of raw over there. No one cares about quality and stuff like that. <clears throat> but Instagram is a little different. I'm not going to include Facebook because I feel like Facebook is, has turned into like, I don't know. Like, I just feel like it's a lot of family on there. <laughs> Sorry, I feel like Facebook, there's a lot of family on there. So, and a lot of them don't follow me on my other social media platforms. So, I don't want to include them. But let me know, what do you guys think? How do you get out of your comfort zone with creating content? I don't know. I'm just like, some days I'm like stuck and some days I'm like on a go. But I know stepping out, I have to start getting back out there. Taking my own photos. And then finding a great photographer. Um, and that's hard, like, you know, to be honest, like, I haven't seen anyone that I feel like, well, I haven't come across anybody. And I know they're here in Atlanta. I just haven't came across them just yet, come across them just yet. So, if you guys know a photographer, definitely let me know. So, let me know what you guys think. I'm just going to do some work here. Nothing crazy today. Um, I'll show you guys my outfit. I'll pop in, like, a video or something because uh, I'm sitting down, but I'm also in the middle of trying to buy a new desk and I'm thinking about getting one of the standing desks and the, my reason, okay, so I sit down all day long. I've been working from home since 2013, okay? We're in 2023, literally. So for me, I'm just trying to figure out the best desk to get and chair to get that's still aesthetically pleasing because I don't want it to look like a techie office. No, I don't want that. So I'm going to venture into looking at that and possibly getting that little treadmill, guys, um, under the desk and just kind of just get up, stand up and work out because to be honest, I, sometimes I don't even get up. Like I'll go to lunch, but I'll eat and sit right back down. So... That's what I'm trying to do now. So if you guys know of any really good desks that are for standing, um, let me know. Um, comment the name below. I'll check it out. Uh, the price, I don't want to say the price doesn't matter, but I want something that's really good quality. That's not like wobbly. That's not going to be making all types of noises like when I move it. Um, and something with like a drawer and a little bit of storage space. Just at least one drawer that I'm good to go. But yeah, so you guys let me know about the content part because I know that it could be very, very hard for some of us and easy for others. But, you know, maybe maybe you just got to get over it, go get over it and just step out. But you guys get into the comments and let me know. And I'll catch you guys on my lunch break. I'll probably bring you guys downstairs while I'm eating. I am, the other thing I need to do is order my pictures for the dining area and order another a console table because I sent the other one back for the front and some photos for the front and then I'll get the additional lights done downstairs and something for the corner and possibly some floor lamps which I need and then I should be done downstairs if I change my tables my, not my table my um chairs at my counter possibly but for right now they're okay so then I can move on upstairs finish the office out do some stuff in the other bathroom just change it how I like it guys so you guys get into the comments let me know what you feel and think about the content and if you guys know a really good standing desk okay all right so bye hey guys it's your girl coco so here is the outfit for today um these are some zara pants and i have on my zara bustier for reference again guys i am six feet tall these are old Zara pants that I actually got the hem taken down. They are like really fitted at the waist, which I like. But honey, sometimes my stomach is like a no. But I hope you guys can see it. And then I have on my key glasses. Can you guys see? <laughs> my Versace bag and my Zara slides. So the whole outfit is from Zara, guys. My Valerie earrings. It looks pretty dark. I'm going to see if I can lighten it up. It's really dark in this room. But that's the outfit for today. Let me go down so you guys can see. 
and then maybe I'll try it the other way too. All right, guys. Hey guys, so I'm getting ready to go take a lunch. I'm kinda late, I have some stuff to do. So let me tell you, when it comes to work, I have like, I guess you could structure when it comes to things being sent over so I can do my part. And when people wait to the last minute, guys, it drives me insane. Cause now I have to like rush and send stuff back and it's just like, it's a mess. But I try to be nice about it. <laughs> and tell them, hey, it'll be a good idea if you try to get it in before this time in case there's any issues, right? So, yeah. But I'm about to grab some lunch. I have some leftovers from yesterday. I made some chickpeas, some wild rice. I need to go grocery shopping, guys. It is like so bad in here. So, and I was so lazy yesterday. I'm probably gonna make me a juice really quick. Like a protein juice. Yeah. Hold on guys, it's so dark. I was being so lazy that I didn't even put my food away <laughs> properly. I never put pots in the earth. I was so tired. But I have some food left, so this is great. I'm gonna make some tea. I have some nettle. Let me move you guys over here. Do you guys know what nettle is? So nettle, nettle, it's a tea that um, I had some this morning. It's a herb tea. And for me, I feel like, okay. So to the ladies who are still going through their monthly, I drink it before, a week before my cycle starts and the week of. And I, what I have noticed is that I don't be in pain. <laughs> that's all I'm gonna say. So that's Nettle, N-E-T-T-L-E. -T -T -E. Absolutely love it. It doesn't taste like the best. Let's, let's put on got my slippers on guys let's let some light in here my backyard looks 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 crazy <laughs> like the grass he's gonna come and be like what happened i'm gonna have him clean up everything i see some little spider webs i don't even go out there and it's like it's a pretty cool yard but i don't go out there but maybe i'll just have him spray and then i'll go behind him and clean up yeah i'll probably go out there one of these days and just clean and i'm still waiting to order my photos guys i'm so excited because i think i figured out which ones i want i just need to figure out the size the sizing so i'm just gonna warm some food up for those of you guys who don't know i do not use the microwave microwaves are terrible if you do use them I'm gonna try to convince you to stop. <laughs> and just heat your food up on the stove. It takes a little bit longer, but it actually tastes a lot better. Um, <laughs> so no pressure here, guys, no pressure. But I do recommend no, um, <laughs> no microwaves, guys. All right, so let's heat that up. I think I'm going to just watch some TV while I eat and that's it. I'm gonna still work on my client's stuff. She kind of like changed some of the stuff. I don't know, I feel like she changed some stuff, but it's cool. It's kind of difficult finding stuff. I don't know, I feel like for the winter, it was better. Let me sit you guys down while I walk around. I feel like for the winter, it was better finding stuff for her in the summer. I don't know, like I said, either the brands are just not, like, they're just not catering to people, period. <laughs> so I think what's happening is that I'm having a hard time finding linen pants. And I have an idea of what she can do, but we're gonna have to get this stuff tailored, which is still fine, but you know. I'm gonna mix a juice. This is my CMOS, guys. 
I'm gonna make a juice, well, like a protein drink. And I'm gonna use, let me tell you, my blender is like, my juice, not my juicer, not my Nama. My Nama is good, but my Nutribullet is like on its last leg. But I'm gonna just use that. I'm actually going to grab, let me show you guys. And let's go in here and grab some, I think I'm gonna make like a milky type drink. I have a little bit of walnuts in here. I'm gonna just grab another pack and go about my business. All right. And then let's do that, guys. So I, I uh oh, I usually buy a ton of walnuts. And I'm probably gonna put some hemp seeds in here too. So I got these from Target. I had these for a long time. And I'd say they weren't like super cheap either. But I wanted them to go in my closet. And I haven't had any issues with it like, you know, anything like oiling or anything. We're gonna make like a little protein drink. And I'm gonna grab my, my other protein. I'm gonna put some hemp seeds in here. My fridge is looking empty. <laughs> uh oh, hold on one second guys. I'm back. So I have some hemp seeds. I'm just gonna put some hemp seeds in here. I'm going to add a little bit of so I haven't found the container for this which I need to because I don't really like to leave stuff in plastic this is more this is hemp powder and I just put a little bit in there and then I'm gonna put some sea moss so I make my own sea moss gel and I buy it from this guy. I really like the Irish moss from him. I'm gonna get some more because it looks like I have one more pack in there. And then we are good to go. All right. Let's put this stuff back. And I usually make like two, I'll make like two big ones and kind of go from there. I put the protein in the drink, in the refrigerator. I don't know if you're supposed to, but I do. Okay. And then I'm going to put some ice. I think I'm going to add, let's add some dates today. Excuse me, that was a big sneeze. I'm gonna add some dates. And I take the pit out. I'll put like, maybe I'll put three in here. They're nice and fresh too. You can tell when they're fresh, when they just like cut right open and it's still kind of like juicy. All right. Let's make some protein drink. Oh my gosh, guys, so now I have to, oh, I have water in the refrigerator. <laughs> so you guys know I buy my water from a company and I didn't put one back up, it's so heavy. But I usually fill up water, spring water here, and just, you know. And these are from Ikea, actually. Sometimes I'll just take one upstairs while I'm working and drink, it was like, kinda like a liter. I'll bring a cup with me. And then, we're good. I'm gonna move you guys back here. So. 
because I feel like it's kind of dark. <laughs> Protein drink is done. My water is on. And I'll be honest, I'll drink a protein drink and <laughs> eat like a meal. Because I'm greedy, guys. Because I'm, I'm a little greedy, greedy. See, so yeah, I drink two today. I have to fill them back up once I put my water thing on. Water cooler. <laughs> so I'm gonna eat my food. Here's the drink. Sometimes I just drink it out of there. Depending on how I'm feeling. And then sometimes I put it in a glass. And I'm gonna put it in a glass for you guys. Let's grab a glass. Do you guys still rinse your stuff even though it's already clean? I do. Ooh, this is kind of thick, thick, thick. Okay, let's leave the rest right here until I just taste that. Mmm, that's yummy. All right, so sometimes when I'm eating anything that is like a <laughs> anything that is dark. Not dark, that can stain my plate. I always use my black dishes. So my wild rice is fine, but the chickpeas does have turmeric and curry on it. So yeah, I don't want to stain up my white plates. So I'll keep two. Let's actually taste this. Mmm. Mmm. This is good. This is good. I'm gonna feel so full, but that's great. That is great, great, great. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm just gonna pour my stuff in here. you guys once it's all on the plate you're gonna be like that's so much food <laughs> so <laughs> this is <laughs> wild rice it's not like um it doesn't it's not a rice it's not a grain it's actually a grass right so don't buy, don't mind me. I'm like trying to get all of the rice. Um, yeah, it's a grass. So it doesn't do the same thing as 
regular, regular rice does. All right. So let's just grab. And you guys can't even see down here, but I'm just gonna pour a little bit of chickpeas on here and grab all the juice <laughs> that I can from this. This is, this is what I use. Can you guys, I get this from, from, um, Good old home goods. And the reason why I like it, like it doesn't have a bunch of stuff in it. Like, it's not terrible. And it's like $5 for this big thing. So every time I see it, I just grab a whole ton. So I'll let this sit here for a second. And then let that cool down. And then I will be washing my dishes before I go back up. So it's 121, I have like 40 minutes to eat. I'm gonna watch some television. And yeah, that's what I'm gonna do on my lunch break. Sometimes I just like to do nothing. Like literally nothing. So we're gonna turn some TV on. We're gonna turn some TV on and we're going to finish watching I Had to Get Away With Murder. Let me show you guys the food. Can you guys see the food? Mm. So, wild rice, chickpeas with like peppers and mushrooms and stuff and I don't have any avocado, but I'm gonna try to start eating avocado every day. Um, Cause if, if I don't, if I don't get enough protein, I'm gonna be going back to eating eggs. <laughs> if anybody knows of a really good nutritionist in Atlanta, let me, well, I don't wanna say Atlanta. It could be Gwinnett County. It could be Johns Creek area. It could be Atlanta in Georgia period. Um, so let me know. But we're about to eat and catch you guys later. <laughs> Welcome back to another vlog guys. It is your girl Coco and for those of you guys who don't know I talk about beauty, fashion, lifestyle, and styling and I'm just getting ready to go. I think I'm gonna just end up going to Restoration Hardware to look at these desks. I am debating on, my eyebrows are terrible, I'm debating on getting a stand-up desk and I just been doing some research and I'm just like, should I just get one? I don't know if it's time, but I've been working from, from home for many, many years and knock on wood, <laughs> I haven't had any issues, like back issues or anything like that. So my research, they seem nice, but I don't really like the style of the desk. And I've seen some where they come in wood, but then the reviews are saying that it's not 100% wood. Um, so I'm just gonna go to Restoration Hallway and just look at some of their desks. And then if anything, I can still get me the tabletop piece that goes on your desk if I feel like standing. I can just put my laptop on it and just work from there. Um, and I think that's what I'm gonna do. But I'm gonna go check it out. Then I'm gonna go grocery shopping. I think I'm gonna go to Zara. I got a few things to do, um, today. But I just wanted to chit-chat with you guys before I head up out here. I was just watching something with, um... 
I guess that's Jamie Foxx and it's on YouTube <laughs> I guess that's Jamie Foxx but it doesn't really it doesn't I don't know I don't want to say it doesn't look like him because if he was um well he was he did have an incident so that's probably why he looks a little tired but yeah well he looks like he's better if that is him but I'm gonna get ready and just chit chat with you guys I got my nails done yesterday I don't know if you guys can really see the color but um so let me tell you my nail situation I in my eyebrows I haven't even, I'm looking here because my mirror is here but I haven't got my eyebrows done in so long because everyone is jacking up my eyebrows and I just can't take it anymore I can't take it is that a little pimple I can't take it anymore so I'm pretty much just like winging it right but my nails so I lived I moved to this side of town a few years ago oh I need another pencil hold on guys ah did I run out okay I gotta go by so I gotta go to Target or Alter Alta and get another brow pencil let's see actually let me take this I'll put through my eyebrows first so I, I you know I was going to a few places to get my nails done and they were okay um the first place was cool and then they just became kind of lazy and then I am noticing and this is gonna sound so bad that the guys they don't do nails they just they're so rough right they're super rough and they just don't take their time so they want to use the machine on your nails on your toes like you don't you don't need to use that on your natural nail you use that on you know the acrylic or the powder or um yeah that's it so I ended up finding another place after I left the first place. They were fine. And then they got lazy. I just, I just, they just got lazy. So the new place, I was like, oh, they're so good. There was a guy who did my nails and it was a girl, a lady who did my feet. And absolutely loved them. Whatever happened, one day I went and it was, it was a little, um, crowded so I just let anybody do my feet and my nails and I just kind of kept doing that after that and then one day it was just like actually the last two months the same two guys did my hands and my feet mind you the guy who did my hands was the first guy when I first started it's just that like he got lazy and last the last two months it's just been terrible and the last time I went I just said you know what I'm not going back that is it I'm just gonna that's it it was so bad that I didn't even tip them. And I never not tip. Like, I was so frustrated from my feet. My feet didn't feel... He did, He missed a whole bunch of steps on my feet. He kept trying to use the drill on my feet. And I kept telling him, you're, all you're going to do is make my nails softer. Right? My I mean, my, my toenails softer. My nails, they were terrible. The shape was terrible. Like, when he filed them down, they weren't smooth. It was just, like, lumpy. And I don't mean lumpy, like... Like, it was smooth because he put the top layer, but it was just, like, dense. It was just not a good look. And I didn't tip, so I was like, this is it. So then yesterday, I was just like, ah, I don't know where to go. Let me try. So I specifically asked for the lady who did my my feet, and then I said, I want a lady on my fingers. And then they ended up giving me a lady that I had before, and she was like, oh, my God, I haven't done your nails in so long. So she's like, I saw you a few weeks ago with the guys. I said, oh, my God, they were so terrible. <laughs> They just didn't take their time. And she was like, no, I know. Um, so I was like, no, I'm just not going to switch. So I'm going to still go. But I think she did a good job. Even on my toes. Like, he jacked up my toes. So she's trying to get them back square again. Like, he just, she like, I mean, they're short. Um, but I know they're going to grow back out how they should. And then my nails, she did a good job on my nails. So this one's a little shorter because this hand was already short. But... I went back almond shape. I don't know if you guys can see. Because it's so bright. Let me see. Can you guys see that? 
I don't even know. But <laughs> that was the Bobby Brown um, vitamin enrich, enriched face base. I like this a lot. I don't use it all the time because it has like a smell. I'm like perfumey smell. So sometimes I just don't want to use it. And then I'm going to use my my pro concealer under my eyes. I use this because it's cheaper and it actually matches my skin tone. And I, oh, I got a couple. You see, this, I'm, I'm, I need a couple of things. I need some more NARS concealer, um, Cafe Deep, and, okay, and an eyebrow pencil. I need to write that down. So, yeah, so when I went yesterday, they hooked me up. Like when she did my feet, I felt like my feet were done. When he was doing my feet, they was just, they was feeling like, they felt worse than when I came in. And even from massaging, like, I saw a TikTok video the other day and it was some guys that worked at a nail salon and they were saying that they felt like a lot of people don't want to pay for their nails. And I don't think that's what it is. They have completely slacked on what they do. They don't even massage. You remember back in the day you would get your nails done? Well, I know this was in New York. After you got your nails done, you wash your hands again, right? And then they massage your hands. They don't even do that. Manicures, I don't even know what that is. It's not even like... I just don't know what it is. They're, they're just slacking on so much and they expect you to pay. Now, yesterday, because you know, now when you get your nails done, you have to tell them you want a manicure. <laughs> it wasn't like that before. The issue was not paying. The issue was that they're taking services away and now you have to ask for them, right? Instead of them saying, hey, um, you need a manicure on top of this, whatever. So even yesterday, she's like, trying to push the cuticles back and she's like, I said, I need a manicure. She's like, yeah. And I'm like, okay, but I just feel like it's extra money now, right? Like what happened to the full situation? <laughs> it's gone. Like it's completely gone. I'm going to put some, some powder down here. Uh, and this is the translucent powder. And this is honey. This is the honey one. I just put a little bit under here because my face be like that Bobby Brown is like really moisturizing. And I just kind of <laughs> I know that's a lot, but I just need it to like listen guys, I'm no makeup guru. But that's the issue. The issue is that they're taking away stuff. And they just don't take care of your nails. It's almost like hairdressers. I don't know the last time I went to the hair salon. Because I feel like the times that I did go, they were not even taking care of my hair. So, what's the point? To have a look that looks nice and then before you know it, your hair falling out? No, that's not good. Um, I'm just going to use the, this one under here. Because I ran out of my Cafe Deep. And you know what? I should have put the, I should, I wasn't supposed to do that. <laughs> I was supposed to put a little bit of uh, foundation. To be honest, I did not wear a lot of foundation. Like when I tell you it's such a little bit, it's such a little bit. But let me do... Let me spray some of this on my beauty blender, which I need to wash. I used this yesterday, and I feel like I got a lot of product on it. Let me just get this under here. And then I'm going to use my other brush for the mess, um, foundation. I don't know. I just don't like a lot of product on my face. I don't and that could be because I never liked foundation uh oh yeah I never really liked foundation 
I'll do the eyebrows in a second. But yeah, they're just not, they're just not doing a good job anymore. And then I'm like, okay, maybe I'll just go to like black nail salon, right? Just go to a black nail salon or to like, there's a Dominican nail salon out here in, um, I think they said it's in Decatur. And I heard that they do amazing pedicures. Not so much the Manny, but everybody says that their pedicure, pedicures are so good. And I'm like, well, maybe I'll try them. I don't know. It's just not, they're just not doing what they're supposed to do. These, these folks now with these services. Um, I don't know. I got like a little thing right here. Uh, so yeah, so I'm gonna continue to go to them until <laughs> I don't like it anymore. But I'm gonna stick to the two ladies because my feet feel good. They feel soft. It's like, and then I'm thinking, did he even use the scrub? Like, did he, he just did it. She was going to town yesterday. Like, I had Myra's feet. But that was cool because she's like, I haven't done your feet in so long. But I also feel like they know when someone else does your hands or your feet and it's not up to part. When they've taken the stuff off, they can tell. She didn't want to say, but she was looking. She's like, the young or the old one? I said, the young guy did my feet. And she goes, oh, and then she starts, they start speaking in their language. <laughs> and they probably were like, he's terrible. <laughs> right? So, I'm like, come on, guys. Come on. Just, I don't know. But, so that's the plan for today. I'm going to try to bring you guys. I, I do need to go to Restoration Hardware. So, I didn't want to spend this much money on a desk. And this is why I was opting for the um, the stand-up desk. But at the, the, the style of it, I'm just not really feeling. So, I'm going to go check some stuff out and see what they actually have. I don't know. If you guys have a stand-up desk, let me know how you like it. Is it worth it? Um, do you have the Euronomic? Is it called Euronomic? Euronomic. Um, is that what it's called? <laughs> Chair also. Because I don't want my office to look like a, like a techie office. No. <laughs> I don't want that. So, your ur Euronomic. Ur is, ur is that what it's called? I don't even know. Anyway, let me know what you guys uh, know about those type of desks and chairs and stuff. Because the chair that I have is definitely not one of those. And my desk is just a regular desk, which I don't mind the desk. I just want something different. I don't want um, chrome legs. I used to have chrome in my other apartment. So I kind of moved all that stuff into my office, which I like. I liked it, but I got rid of the sofa in there. So it gave me a lot more space. I actually gave that away. Um... I still need to buy pictures for downstairs and a console table. So I'm just trying to get some of the big stuff out the way. And then I'll be done soon. Then I can give you guys a full on tour. The photos that I saw, they're really nice. My only issue is that I needed like an eight by 10 to go inside like these huge frames, but they don't have. So now I have to um, pretty much get something bigger. And if I get them in the frame from the website, it's like two something for one photo and I need six. And um, if I buy the prints and buy the frames, I still feel like it's still going to be a little pricey. Definitely not as pricey, but then I have to go get the mat from like Hobby Lobby, have them like, you know make the mat to, to the size that I need because the frame, the picture itself is not like a normal size. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, that's it guys. Um, I'm just gonna finish getting ready here and then get dressed, film a little video really quick and then I'm done. I'm going to head outside 
get on the road guys so I can get back in the house okay I gotta work on my client's stuff so she did change some stuff around which is fine um, but I know that it's going to be a lot easier now because of what she's looking for I hope this is not too bright because I do have my room is light and um, I have these vanity lights on my face so I got a really good idea of what I would like to get her um so that's gonna be pretty cool because it's a little different from what she's used to wearing and she's like she just wants to try something different right which is perfect right because that's that's always that's always a, a plus when you want to try something different and that's how you step out of your comfort zone and then you start to find styles that you never thought of wearing that look really really well on you so yeah all right so let me just finish doing my makeup and um i'm gonna finish listening to this video on youtube who are some of you guys favorite youtubers regardless of what they are cooking fashion uh juicing uh tech <laughs> I have vlogs. Drop them below. I may not follow them. And if I don't, let me know. I'll follow them. Subscribe to their channel. And go from there. Alright, so this. My eyebrows are looking crazy. But let me. <laughs> I need a pencil. And this is what I do. I take my hands and I. um. All right, so let me just do some eye makeup and then we're good. And I'm going to listen to some stuff on here. Wow. 
the um the nars that i get it's so empty this is the actually this is not empty this is the amande i like that one but this is the one that i am on empty <clears throat> cafe deep one it was just called yeah deep one cafe So I need to get some more of that. I'm done. I'm going to go ahead and get dressed and try to do some other content, guys, and all that good stuff. So I sit here at my vanity, clean up before I get away from the vanity. <laughs> I don't leave anything like hanging around no mess I'm looking for Does Max still give you like a free product for your stuff? Sometimes I throw them out and sometimes I don't. And then we are good to go. And we're gonna go get dressed. Just grab my cell phone and the charger and turn off the vanity light, guys. Bye. 
Hey guys, so here's the color of the desk that I was thinking. They didn't have the desk in store with the color, but this is the color. It's kind of like an oak gray. So if I do end up getting that desk, I'm going to get this color. My only concern is it coming damaged because of my history with our age with my coffee table. But this one is slightly bigger not bigger it's slightly tougher as far as like the wood it's it's not as smooth as the the coffee table that i got so this may be the color and i want to swap out the handle so i wanted to ask them if i can do that but i don't know but that's it guys so hopefully i will make a decision soon and have my office completed and give you guys a really nice office tour guys Bye. I'm done guys so I just got back in from restoration hardware let's move you guys here this is my phone so it's probably giving off a yellow hue yeah probably But I'm gonna start eating. You know, oh, you know what I'm gonna do? So here's the food, guys. Falafels, Spanish rice and beans. I'm not supposed to have that, but you know. Thank you guys for tuning in to this vlog today. It's probably pieces for multiple days in here. But thank you guys for tuning in and make sure you're hitting that subscribe button and I will catch you guys in the next one. Follow me on Instagram at Coco Styles NYC and Coco Styles NY. And if you stay to the end of this vlog, please comment Coco, we see you. And I will see you guys. Oh no, hold up my blog, <laughs> Coco Styles NYC.com and my personal style services, Coco Styles NY.com. And I will catch you guys in the next one. <laughs>